Hey, good Thursday oh. afternoon. Thirsty Thursdays are live. We've switched. Ignore everything I just said, apparently, then. Yeah, <laughs> we're Thirsty Thursdays. Look, we're getting off of this Saturday. I know we've been going live for the past year. Uh, wow. Past year live on Saturday nights, but we are switching it to Thursday afternoons for a live stream. Uh, look, this is this is different. It's the middle of the week, basically, for me. I got to get up tomorrow, but I'm still getting drunk. So grab your, grab your dick, grab your shot glass, and let's fucking cheers to that, bud. Cheer. What are you What are you drinking on? Oh, yeah, I guess I should ask that. I'm drinking on a Merlot out of the bottle. Like a champ. Out of the bottle. I'm going to drink on this Old Root single barrel b -b 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 bourbon whiskey. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so it's been two weeks. What you been up to? Got that well, little tan line from your sunglasses. I did. I went to the Renaissance Festival, had a blast with some friends. Uh, we went golfing, me and some military buddies the next day, and I got absolutely roasted. I do want to add that I played the worst golf of my life in front of a girl, too. I was like kind of trying to impress. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I've been pretty well this year. I won a tournament and everything. Dog shit. I played like absolute dog shit, but she's still talking to me, so couldn't have been that bad. Well, good for you, bud. I'm proud I of know. you. Single life treating you well. So far, so good. Can't complain. Nice. I'm I'm married with a kid. No shit, Sherlock. So, so Cheers the past to that. <laughs> haven't done jack shit, played video games, and uh, well, that was about it, really. Yeah, but the wife's home now. The baby's home. Oh! Oh! I... We, we forgot to talk about this, too. I got to see your daughter at her first football game. That, that was exciting. Cool. Got to hold her. She didn't cry. Didn't freak out. Nothing. I really thought she was going to lose it and have a mental breakdown. She was See, smiling. I, I cry when you hold it and cuddle me. So that's, I know, right? That's curious. Yeah, it's a big, I, it's a big step. Yeah. Also, I'm so I didn't know she's walking now. Uh, she's running. Yeah, I know. I was like, she was. I, Lauren brought her onto the field and let her play around on the field, and she was having a, no pun intended, a field day. She was going ham on that thing. Wow. I know I had to say it. I did a little bit I, of a yeah. your dad joke there for you. I, I hate this already. Right. See, you you <laughs> you you put my kid in your hands and next thing you know you're a dad. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. See, I can be a good uncle though. I, I mean I baby's first football game. Yeah. I mean, oh by the way, for our live stream, check out the new backdrop. What yeah. your backdrop? It looks good. I do love it. That's what you also did in those two weeks. Um, yes, oh, yeah. I did the finish the studio, like for everyone that's on it. Like, it's a little messy right now, but I got the vinyls up on the wall. The I got everything going on in here. It's it feels it doesn't feel like a bedroom that I'm just trying to make an office. It actually feels like a studio now, which I, I that's what I've been going for. So I'm glad I'm it's not I'm, there. I'm not gonna show mine because this is all you need to see. The rest is a mess. It is. It I, is. I can't confirm. <laughs> can't confirm. <laughs> yeah. All but right. Well, with that being said, roll that intro. One, two, three. I'm a type 2 civilization hipster. Jesus is watching you, you're gonna all burn in hell. That's why Antarctica's off limits. It's just a fun bunch of penguins fucking each other, and it causes a chain reaction. People Let's lose their the fucking minds. Started. Trust me, man, I've seen some shit. Nice to be in Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. You should probably go get that checked and shove a <laughs> finger in your bum. You're laughing, but it's already in there. <laughs> All right. So we are back. Thank you again, everyone, for joining Drunk Discussions Podcast. Again, this is a live podcast every single now Thursday night at 8 p.m. ish. Uh, we're working on the times, but I think 8 p.m. is going to work out well. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for sticking around. Thank you for everyone joining the stream. Uh, but, Paul, yes. it is October. It's our favorite pagan month. It is. <laughs> it is. Well, it's mine, at least. But yes, I'm stoked. Halloween is my shit. I am a little sad, though, buddy. I am. Why? Um, Why are you sad? This is the first time in about five, six years now that I am not doing a Halloween party. Those holiday parties were your biggest fucking jam, though. That's surprising. I, I know. Well, they took a lot out of me last year. I took one. It cost me a lot of money, and I broke just even from it. I mean, I had a full DJ, a full stage, fucking a full barbecue truck, a 30-foot bonfire. Went all out for this weekend, and... It got really cold that weekend last year, and, like, not even half the people that were invited showed up. I mean, it was still over 100-plus people, but, like, normally I'm in the two, three, four hundred range, and I was like, 
I don't know. I didn't. Br- I broke even, and I was like, I just, I have a lot going on from football and everything else. I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna take a year. So I'm taking a year off, and I'm gonna go to other people's Halloween parties and enjoy my very minute free time. That's awesome. So the stream uh, technical difficulties. You couldn't hear Paul for the first like two minutes there. So hey, <laughs> what it happens? Oh, it's after fixed. after the break or before? Yeah, because I switched. So um, I redid my computer, and there was a full panic inset like ten minutes prior to the stream starting of me resetting everything back up. It happens. Okay, uh, fucking computers be computer, you know. So um, you're telling me everything before that intro was not heard. Paul had a holiday party. The holiday parties are a blast. Last year, he had a fucking stage, a DJ, a bunch of crack cocaine hookers, strippers, and he broke even. Uh, but it took a lot out of him, so he's not <laughs> doing it again this year. Uh, there you go. You're caught. That, so that's all they missed. They got the before the intro and everything. I'd hope so. Oh, I bet not. I bet you fucked it up. Well, whatever. Well, we s- switch streams. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually really excited for Halloween this year. One, Delaney can walk. Last year, she was basically a wet fetus. Uh, I mean, she was technically out of the You're womb, but still gonna use a stroller with her. Let's be honest: a baby within from one to four, they're gonna walk for like maybe an hour, and then they're like, "Okay, I want uppies, or I want to be in the stroller." This is what I'm dressing up as this year. You going as Captain America? Going as Captain America. I think she's gonna be. So we're we're debating. We're thinking like we're probably gonna go basic, like a fucking stupid ass princess or some shit. But I really want no. her to be baby group. That's cool. I was going to say Baby Hulk. Baby Hulk would be fucking awesome. And then I can I just know. Her around after she gets tired. Exactly. Like yeah. Captain America does in the MCU, just carries the Hulk around. Um, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, what is what is your wife going to be then? Is she going to be like the Scarlet Witch? Or that would hmm. be cool. That would be That's, cool. It fits it. Yeah. Fits it well. That, yeah. that would be cool. Now, um... She, she's I mean, kind sorry, of Scarlet like Bitch. <laughs> Fuck, hey, Paul said it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, um, she's probably, she's really big on trying to, like, stick with shit she already has, so she'll probably be, like, Tinkerbell or something like that. I mean, we, hey, we didn't celebrate it last year because the hurricane. Then why don't you just be Peter Pan, and then the baby be, a, isn't there a baby in Peter Pan? I know a few hundred guys that would love to see my ass in green tights. You can, I mean, yeah, you should. That's, oh, but I, at the same point, that's that America's idea. ass. It, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's, that's what I'm America's saying. America's ass. Put my ass. Do you have? Is one. it like a onesie, or do you have like the like you have the? It's uniform. too late. It's, it's too late for me to buy it this year. Um, so the uniform I was looking at was like nine hundred bucks, and okay. it's custom made. Um. I was supposed to put a pre-order in a few months ago, and I never did. I ended up hear me out before you fuck up Captain America. Yeah, do that next year. Go all out, get the full thing, and this year you can buy tights anywhere. You can pull off just Peter Pan. She's Tinkerbell. You just have a baby that's dressed up as a uh, uh, what are they fairy as well. I could go as Fat Thor this year. Your beard's not well. Yeah, it is about the same length, actually. Yeah, I could do Fat yeah. Thor this year. Get a wig or Ragnarok Thor. Oh, that's sexy Thor. Yeah, I mean you're pretty sexy, so just put uh-huh. an eye patch on and do a little slit in your hair, and boom, you're done. A little sli- yeah. slit on the eye right there, a little across the eyebrow. Yeah, but then again, you still want to have that outfit. I don't want to just go to fucking party Halloween or whatever the store is called, the pop ups. Just and, go to and get yeah, a go shitty to- one. For, for, wanna, Thor, go for, for Thor, you can do that. Yeah, I could do I could do like a crossover episode where I do Fat Thor meets Ragnarok. Fat Ragnarok Thor. Yeah, fat fat. Oh, fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to combine a word there. Fat Rock. Uh, oh. uh, you just made shit off the cuff there, bub. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So Halloween's coming. We're all getting hyped for it. Um. Jesus Ween. Yeah, I wanted to bring it up because, like, (laughs) I did. I don't hate on religion. I want people to shut up. I want people to love and experience themselves. If they're happy in their things, do it. Like, be happy for your spirituality. And I think that should be generally the same for everyone, right? 
But I do have to say, this is going across my For You page constantly. I've seen like six of them today about Jesus Ween. Um, because it's not a Christian holiday and the Christians feel like they're left out. From someone that's not Christian and in the pagan holiday, can I just say, leave our god dang holidays alone. You've already stolen two pagan holidays to make your own. You don't need a third. N no. Leave Halloween alone. Okay? You don't believe in everything that we're doing, you don't have to celebrate it. That's that's my take. That's my it's take. Very that's very passionate. I'm very I passionate am. about it. I am, because they already stole two holidays from paganism and made it their own, and it's the most celebrated holidays in the world now. So you yes, know that leave that they want to they want to make Jesus Ween longer than Halloween, right? They want to make yeah. it a week long. So not only is Jesus Ween longer and thicker and girthier, it's a good Ween. It's a good Ween, dude. That's it's a good Ween. Jesus Ween. I, I'm sorry. When I saw that, I started laughing. They're supposed to, apparently they're going to be dressing up in all white and handing out uh, Bibles and uh, verses on Halloween. Um, I promise you, whoever does that, you're going to hear a lot of vulgar things from people. Oh. So don't do it. Go do your own spirituality no, in your room I'm, I'm or your house. It. No, I'm with it. Let them put on the white robes with the pointy hats. I'm throwing fake blood on you if you do that. Did you get that reference? Yes, I heard you. They have to have the pointy hat, though. You gotta um, do the pointy <laughs> hat. I got it. But regardless... Don't steal another holiday. You have plenty. I'm sorry. You already you already stole two. You That's my take. Them. Straight Fair snatched enough. that shit up. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, they want to get rid of the pagan holiday and turn it into a Christian-based holiday, a faith-based spooky season, but take away the spooky and get rid of the actual flavoring, just like any other white person. Yeah, just uh, like no seasoning. Uh, yeah, no seasoning. And there's plenty Even of seasoning salt. now. That's the most seasoned holiday. It is a very seasoned holiday next to thanks uh, Thanksgiving's pretty whitewashed nowadays. Yeah, no, it is. Absolutely. I've been going to mean for Unless starters. you go to a family that's has flavor, <laughs> then you you know, that's different. We're talking about you them know. barbecues. <laughs> yeah, them barbecues, man. I've been to a couple of them Thanksgivings. They're fun. Or if they're foreigners that are now American and they like incorporate, you know, their cuisine into it. Mm. Mm, there's nothing better like my family we do italian we've done it a couple times italian thanksgiving and uh, man i'm sorry that beats any turkey dry ass turkey because i guarantee you half these motherfuckers don't do it right don't know how to do no, a fucking turkey no seasoning put it in the, it's put it in dry they're put stuffing, it in the bag. their stuffing is trash they bought from kroger i don't want to hear it oh, look at a second is an italian thanksgiving where you stuff spaghetti up the turkey's ass no but now i'm going to try that I think it would, honestly, I think with a, with a turkey, it'd probably be better with like an Alfredo. Tell me, tell me that wouldn't look like the, a turkey's giving birth to a bunch of worms, though. You open oh. that thing up and there's just spaghetti coming out. It just looks like worms. I'm good. I don't know if I, I can do that. I don't like, like it. This anymore. I, don't, I, don't like... <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to be it anymore. I don't like it. What if we did turducken, but in the center there was marinara sauce and mozzarella, though? Ooh. I know. I'm getting hungry and horny thinking about it. <laughs> Fuck a turkey, dude. <laughs> I mean, no. I think we need, um, if anything, I think we need to expand on Halloween. I don't think it's long enough. No, it's not. It it's shouldn't be the whole month of October. During a weekday. Like, we need to stop that. Here's we need to make it a week long, at least. Does your work, I know mine allows it, but does your work allow them to dress up during, at some point, uh, October for Halloween? So we do like a, a spooky pajama day. Oh, we actually allow full costume. Oh, a week yeah. of Halloween, and that's awesome. I love it. It's so mm, cool. I'm gonna. Works. I'm. I'm going in on yeah, whatever. Two weeks from now, I think is right. Whatever we're doing it, I'm going in as Commander Kurt or Commander Reichert from Star Trek. Like I'm just gonna walk in there like I own the place, full outfit, sending it. Phase in the chat right now, so it'll be a better looking turducken. Uh, yeah. Ugh, yeah. Hey, if you do a turducken right, it it can it can come out. I mean, my thing is this: ham. That's a lot of, that's no, a lot of poultry. Ha ham is better, is ham far superior than turkey. Yes, but most I people in America do ham during Christmas or during, you know, yeah, Yuletide versus Thanksgiving. 
And I think we should switch that shit. I think ham's better. I think it should be acceptable to have ham on Thanksgiving. Why is turkey a Thanksgiving thing? I mean... Um, I, you know, I used to know the answer to that, and I don't remember it now. I want to say it was, like, something to do with, like, Benjamin Franklin and, like, pushing the turkey to be the American animal or symbol. It was mm. like, debating between the turkey and the bald eagle, and, like, the turkey was red, white, and blue. Franklin said it was delicious, and it was on our tables. So, like, I think it was something along those lines. I could be very wrong. Um... I'm not yeah, mad I about can... it. I like turkey. I do. It just when you birds... eat it, you pass out. Birds are significantly stupider than pigs, too. I mean, pigs are very smart creatures. It's oh, yeah. a shame they're so delicious, though. That's the... okay. Like... But you no, know, in all honesty, if pigs weren't delicious, right? If they yeah. weren't, they weren't good to eat. Mm -hmm. They're useless. We we would just slaughter them. They'd be gone off the face of the planet. Oh, I disagree with that. Pigs are really good in farming situations. They're really good in tracking situations. And okay, how so? Excellent cuddle buddies. How so? Other than for their meat, how are pigs good in farming? Uh, one, they're really good at sniffing out mushrooms. Okay, that's like a one-off, and it's a certain type of pig for like truffles and shit. You're right. Pigs are worthless. You're super smart, but you're fucking worthless. But you they're worthless. Really good. And the thing is, is if they're wild pigs, they're nothing like what we have now. They're actually a lot leaner, and the meat's not as good. You have to add, like I've had boar, you have to add fat to it to cook it to get flavor. So like if they are all wild, if we did not have them in captivity and bred to be as delicious as they are, we we they're pointless. Mm -hmm. like I wonder if, how, if I, hum I wonder yeah, how I'm humans sorry. taste. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like like if cats tasted like pigs. We'd be harvesting cats. I don't care what you said. People and humans go after what tastes good. If cats you... taste like pigs, people would be farming cats. Fuck with you've, me. I'm telling you. You've I'm never you been right. to. A, you've never been to a Chinese food shop in the mall, okay? You've had oh, no. it. It is delicious. They shut typically, that one down years ago. <laughs> typically, it's teriyaki. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was dog. Okay. Teriyaki. Teriyaki. <laughs> <laughs> teriyaki. Kitty. Uh, can I have some of that cat chip with that teriyaki kitty, please? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I'm, all I'm saying is if it tastes good, humans are like, this is worth keeping around. Yeah, they're also cute. I think pigs they, are cute. They can be. Now, here's the thing that upset me. I didn't know this was true with pigs, since we're going on a pig tangent. Miniature pigs. I thought that was a true thing. Miniature pigs. They're not. A teacup, teacup pigs? That's not real. No, it doesn't. That that literally crushed my soul. All yeah, I've ever basic. wanted is to have a little fucking babe running around my house forever. I would yeah. be cool with that. But no, basically get to a thousand pounds. For it. They're I like, know. hey, I'll sell you this purebred miniature pig for four thousand dollars. And they're like, ah. and next thing you know, it gets massive. And they're like, what do I do? <laughs> where or where can I keep this pig? It eats all my food. I'm losing all my money. It smells like shit. Uh, Gade's hey. in the chat right now saying apparently people taste like chicken. So, Gade, how would you know this? We know Gade. Okay, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. FBI. Um, that's the man. That's the man. So um, I have you some Halloween related questions for you. Now I know we're we're cl getting close to Halloween, but there's some bro, there's some good questions here. I'm okay with it. Send the Halloween my way. All right. Would you rather attend? And we're doing some would you rather's. Would you rather attend a vampire orgy where you're the main attraction or a werewolf BDSM club where you're the submissive? Mm. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. Um, I'm going to probably go do the, do the werewolves bite you. Cause I would love to be a werewolf over a vampire. I said, um, I think ooh. you're just getting the red rocket on that one, bud. Yeah, but if you're if you're the main attraction for a vampire orgy, they're sucking your dick. With they're sucking teeth. your dick with t teeth. teeth. Yeah, which yeah. you can have a little. Look, I'm not hating. You can have a little bit of teeth on that. You know, it's like corn on the cob vertically. <clears throat> Lauren, don't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. You know, I'm I'm just gonna be the outlier. I'm gonna probably say the werewolf. Fuck it. Well, fuck the me. Werewolf. Apparently. Yeah, you're the submissive. I guess I am. I was I, I was actually going the vampire orgy, vampire. So wait, you're yeah. going the vampire. I'm going the werewolf. Is this less like a a weird twisted version of uh, Twilight? Twilight, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll meet one day over the same woman. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm right, better here's... looking. You win. It's fine. Fangs, <laughs> Fritos in chat. Fangs, though. Oh, uh, I know. Oh, God. Uh, would you rather take... get get seduced by a sultry witch who insists on chanting spells during the act, or a passionate ghost who goes intangible during the worst times? So, in other words, would you rather get seduced by a witch who chants spells while you fuck her, or a ghost who uh, essentially just kind of away as you're getting there? I'm gonna go with the witch because what if she says a spell and it's like, oh, next thing you know, your dick's like three times big. Or sh- she hexes you while you're inside of her. Oh, you She's will never like, come again. Oh, focus, focus. Give me your Ford Focus, and she takes all of your money. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'll put a spell on you. I'd probably and go the, you mind. <laughs> I'd probably go the ghost route because think about it. It's like a constant state of edging. <laughs> That's terrible. Everyone wants to get off. That's annoying. <laughs> Everyone wants to get off. Yeah. Everyone wants to come, bro. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> Freedom's in the chat. Take a chance with a good spell. <laughs> uh, I just think of what 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 was it? It was um a scary movie. Was it scary movie where he's getting fucked? She's getting fucked by the ghost. That's all yes. that comes to mind. That's what comes to mind. So like, mm. are you fucking the ghost or the ghost fucking you? See, see, Ooh, I, I'm going with the witch. I'm going with the witch. I'm going to do the witch. I mean, if I was to do something other than pegging, right. And a ghost was like, Hey, I'm going to fuck you. I think I'd probably like, I'd at least uh, give it a chance. I'd be like, Ooh, we're here. I'm I'm gonna be gentle. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna go up your taint, go, and next thing you know, he's inside of you. Oh, what? Go what if you're no, 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 no. To, like pass no, no, no. through? What if you're screw? Like you know when they say there's a a ghost, you get like a cold chill. What if you're fucking and all you're getting is cold chills the whole time? I mean, I'm down. Yeah, like it's that constantly blow, blowing on your neck the whole time. It's like a the the peak of a sneeze, but you never like, you get know, to finish like, with the ghost. You're getting a nut, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah. Like but this. ghosts are able to like go through things, right? So think about like the worst part about butt play is the getting through the the little oh, stink wrinkles. So you're just so like they straight just, to the prostate area. They're just like no, no, no. They could just go ooh from around, not even have to mess with the stink wrinkle. Next thing you know, they're milking your G spot and they're not even like having to stretch things out that's a win but then you don't get to stretch anything out either though fair enough yeah <laughs> yeah you, you got me there okay i'm gonna go with the witch man i'm sorry i'm gonna fuck the witch and she's gonna bewitch me with her spells or grant me three wishes i don't know maybe it's a genie i got a good one for you all right mm. would you would you rather use a cursed sex toy that gives you the best pleasure but shortens your life, or a haunted one that brings past lovers back as jealous ghosts? Can you read that again? All right. So every time you use the first sex toy, it gives you the best pleasure you've ever had, but you're going to die sooner than you would. Oh, so it or, just takes time off your life. Yep. Yeah, or a haunted one that brings past lovers back as jealous ghosts. I think I'm going to go with the best pleasure. Hands yeah, but down. The problem, problem with you is after a month, you'd be dead. <laughs> Seven hours. Seven hours. Yeah, he, <laughs> j- he died of over-masturbation, see? And <laughs> so it depends. <laughs> is it like a cigarette? Like every time you fuck, it's like a cigarette takes some time off your life? Or is it like, yo, you're losing a day every time you do this or whatever? I don't know. That's, that's, I like my life. But the same point ex-lovers haunting you is it during the the act or is it like afterwards like every time you have mm-hmm. sex next thing you know they're fucking hovering around you i guess it gives you the best so both give you the best pleasure but one will bring back your exes that haunt you and the other one just shortens your life mm. short yeah. my life yeah short my life short yeah, my life yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's easy that's, yeah, good, that's easier um, we do have some good questions in the chat, though, for previous questions. One is, is the witch is the witch hot? Does it really matter, Gabe? Does it matter? And Jim, asking the important questions, is the ghost hun? 
<laughs> That's what I said. That's what like, I are said. you fucking the ghost, or is the ghost fucking you? All right, I got two more for you. We'll start with this. This second to last. Would you rather have a threesome with the headless horseman without the head, and a sexy zombie, or a flirtatious demon and a and a luring mermaid on land? So a threesome, headless horseman, and zombie, or a flirtatious demon and a mermaid. See, now it depends. This this is where it depends. Mm. One, you can't fuck a mermaid. You're just getting oral. Okay? I think fish have thing. pussies. No, 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 no. They release their eggs. The, the fish male fish comes up to it, vibrates, and releases his sperm into the water, and they infer- fertilize the eggs. So there Wait is no second. pussy. There's been a story. Uh, I swear I saw a Florida man story about a guy that fucked a dolphin. The, uh, first of all, a dolphin is not a fish, bitch. That is a porpoise, and that is a mammal. A, a fish is not, not a mammal. mammal. No, it's the bottom half of a fish. If it was a fucking porpoise, we'd have porpoise fucking fins down there. But it's not. It's a fish. So you're not fucking a mermaid. You're Fair just enough. getting oral. And maybe some titty grabbing. Demon, though, depends on how bad that demon is. Like, mm, if it's looking like Doja Cat all read it out, it might happen. Now, the zombie. Here's my problem. The zombie. You never know what part is going to just rip off. Right. You don't know. Well, it's like a necrophilia stance. And, yeah, I can see that. And does it smell? You don't I know think, that. Now, I the headless the horseman. Question, I think the real question here is with the headless horseman, is the horse also there, right? <laughs> whose horse is that? <laughs> whose, whose horse is that? Well, you got a, a bigger hole now. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's, the, you don't even have to buy this. Yeah. You don't have to buy any any. So mouth would, action. Yeah. Would you call it still getting head if there was no head? Uh, shoulders. <laughs> getting no, shoulders. No head. Shoulder, shoulders, knees, and toes. Um. <laughs> I think we need to bypass this question, I'm, but I'm definitely going with the demon and mermaid. Same. Yep. I'm going with the demon and the mermaid. I I am. Oh. I am 100. Especially if it's a badass demon. If it's a if it's a bad demon for sure. I don't know. But the mermaid, yeah, you're not fucking a mermaid. Sorry for all those fangirls and boys out there. Um, as you guys can tell, we've got a very demented Halloween podcast right now. And and um, mindset. Uh, would you rather make out with a werewolf during, during a full moon? Uh, full moon. We need a drink. That's the yeah, only thing that can on. solve that. We'll drink first. Hold on. Mm. Oh, I'm going to change that one, though. Hmm. Would you rather get kinky with Medusa, avoiding eye contact, or have a steamy encounter in a mummy's tomb with the mummy watching? So, again, this is where I have to break shit down. Yeah. In the mummy's tomb, is it like with a girl and the mummy's just watching? Yeah, you're like, you, you say you're on like an expedition to find a mummy and you like find the mummy and then everything gets ah, ah, hot and bothered and the mummy, you pull him out of his casket, like, fuck off, put him in the corner. He's looking at you and you just do your stuff in his tomb. That's the situation. That never ends well, though. I feel like the mummy would eventually just kill you, though. But OK. Um, or the what was it? Werewolf Medusa. or no, Medusa. Yeah. Again, Medusa, bro, it depends because like. She, or you have to remember, mytho- I, I'm, I'm a fan of mythology. I have Medusa on my arm, so, like, I get that. But, like, she had the lower half of a snake. Um, she was apparently the most beautiful woman in the world, and then, you know, Poseidon raped her. But that's uh, how that happened. You didn't know the story? That's how that happened. Yeah, what Poseidon are we raped Medusa. Uh, yep, I gotta do that, too. Hold on a second. <laughs> what do you mean? Do what? Uh, we're 36 minutes in. I'll have to bleep those two words. <laughs> You can't say rape? I have three words. <laughs> you, no, stop. Okay, you can't whatever. Say it, uh, you really can't? Quit. Okay. Yeah, we might get this taken off Twitch. Well, we'll, we'll edit it, whatever. But either way, that's the, that's the mythology of yeah. Medusa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. And then, um, you know, Aphrodite got jealous. But either way, I'm going to go with the tomb, the mummy in the tomb. I was going to go the Medusa route just to say I could, you know, do it with a, a deity. Uh, oh, yeah. Being I, turned into stone. Also, the other one. Thank you, Dallas. Well, you're not um, looking at her in the eyes. I mean, yeah, but uh, you have all those little snakes around you as you're like, you can't kiss. You got to like look away and they're just, what, kissing your face? And then Imagine again, head, there's, there's no hoo-ha. It's a bottom half of a snake. 
So like, you just getting a handy? I think you're getting more or less like a bower constrictor type of method with head. It's all fun and games until you lose circulation to your Actually, car. It depends on how long the hair is on Medusa, right? Because she could send one of the snakes to the towards the secret tunnel, and then you could have another one wrap around your balls, and maybe a few around the shaft. Could be an interesting, complex story to tell your friends. I'm mortified, but where the where your mind went? Mortified with where your mind went with that. Oh my god. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. I think much, I just. Came, I'm a, I, you, you know those steamy stories that all the women are listening to nowadays? The like, uh, it's it's on book talk. Uh, all these women are listening to these audiobooks of like these sultry style g- men bending them over type of. Uh, I'm gonna pull out and blow a load onto your back type of shit. You know stuff that they want to listen to, but they never actually want to have happen. Um, the reason like the why opposite I'm... of men watching like tsunami. No. Uh, so... <laughs> No. <laughs> Did you know? And I, I posted this on TikTok today. So you know the new international version of the Bible, the uh the King James version and the new King King James version of the Bible? Yes. They're all published by Harper Collins. Yes. But Harper Collins also publishes The Joy of Gay Sex and the Sa- Satanic Bible. I love America. I, I love it. It cracks me up. Oh, I'll allow that. I'll go. allow it. What does it say? Oh, I get some bondage action on the tail. See, that's what I'm saying. See, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I it would be difficult with Medusa. It really would. Beautiful face and everything else. But again, if you look at it, you're stone. Um, and you're not putting it in anywhere because there's no entry except for her mouth. I'm going to mm. go with this. I'm going to go with the mummy watching. I could probably be watched over that. Wait, doesn't Medusa have a snake tongue? Yes, and everything, teeth, fangs, and all. Hmm. So teeth action again. I, I don't. I honestly don't mind teeth. I, I, and this is kind of a weird. So you're thing going with Medusa on the internet. I'm going with Medusa. Wow, wow. I'm gonna go with the mummy. That's okay. He can watch. That's fine. Do you want some more? Would you rather's or change subject? I'm liking these. Actually, I'm not gonna. We can change the subject in a little bit. We have some time. But if you have right. more, feed them my way, bub. Would you rather skinny dip in a swamp with a sexy swamp creature or have a moonlit romantic date with a banshee ba- banshee, banshee, with earplugs, with earplugs provided? Well, one's a date, one's you're naked in the water with a swamp creature. Yeah, God knows what type of diseases you're going to pick up. Yeah, that's, that's not where I went, but okay. Um, a moon, moonlit romantic date? That sounds kind of refreshing. You know, I do that. With a banshee. Yeah, you just can't. Banshee. Talk they just it. scream. Well, they they, they 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 sing too. Remember, with men, it's not screaming; it's beautiful sounds, and it draws you to the water. Women hear the screams, and with banshees. I thought that was siren. Same, same. Oh, it's the same, same. Same, same. But different, but same, same. Same, same, but different. Different areas of lore, but same, same idea. Oh. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with the swamp. Is it a bad swamp creature, or is it like old Greg coming out of there? Like what you doing in my waters? Okay, here's a question: Would you fuck old Greg, his mangina? <sighs> well, the thing is, is if you don't, you can't get out of there, right? Isn't that the whole point of the show? <laughs> like you have, do you love me? Well, yeah. Like, you also have to drink his Bailey's out of a shoe. Yeah, but I feel like I could get you to drink Bailey's out of a shoe. I'm pretty sure I've drank alcohol out of a shoe before. <laughs> <laughs> not out of a glass booth that doesn't count no 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 i have drank because it was at the farmhouse dude okay now i gotta ask now so john, no, no, no. john put a beer in a boot and he was like you're gonna drink it i was like fuck yeah i drank so what's the <laughs> grossest thing you've drank out of alcohol out of mm. i have mine and you're gonna be sick i want you to say yours first because i gotta think i've 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 done a lot you're gonna be you're gonna be grossed out mm. A little bit. So we were, I was fishing with some buddies one time. Oh, I don't like where this is going. I was fishing with some buddies one time and we were uh, getting, we were going for crop or what is it? It was carp. So we carp fishing and bow fishing and we got a bunch of them and we were drinking beers and one buddy, you know, challenged the other one to, to sluge a, a beer out of the fish. We (laughs) gutted the fish. We cleaned it out in the lake um, and then proceeded to lose 
a beer out of a fish. I want to leave. I, I don't like it here anymore. I threw up. I drank it and then instantly hurled. So mine was out of, like, the grossest thing was we carved pumpkins and then we filled it up with, um, like, oh, what do you call it? No, it was fucking. Uh, what do you call it when you just mix a bunch of alcohol in a tin and you have uh, swamp juice? Is that what it's called? No, uh, oh, you're, you're t- jungle juice. Jungle juice. And I drank jungle juice out of it, but there was like the slimy bits and the, the seeds still in it. And it was like, it was, it was chunky. Yeah, it was, was the same with, it was the same with the fish. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I'm imagining it. It doesn't help. It? <laughs> especially, it? A, especially a carp, dude. Oh, those are dirty, dirty fish in dirty general. Dirty fish. Dirty fish. Oh, I don't like you. I am. I'm, ooh, ooh. It was bringing back flashbacks and memories. Don't stop. Okay, next, next, next one. Next, next All right. one. Would you rather have a potion that makes anyone irresistibly attracted to you for one night, but turns you invisible the next day, or a spell that lets you shape shift into anyone's fantasy, but leaves you voiceless? That's a for, good one. Voiceless forever? We'll, we'll say a day. Okay, so the same as the first one, a day after. Um, imagine you're like fucking your girlfriend or whatever, whoever you're sleeping with. And you say, who's your, who's your like dreamy one night stand. Right. And you get to take the potion. You turn into Ryan Reynolds or Hugh Jackman or whoever you turn into. They, they fuck him. But the next day you can't talk. Right. Or the next, or you have one. Actually, I think I would take the first one. I'm going to take the first one. I was going to say my reasoning, my reasoning is because you could get. You know, whoever you want, you see the baddest woman as in the many bar, as you want, or, yeah. and as many as you want. And then the next day, they can't Oof. find you. <laughs> You're gone. You Oof. ghosted them. That doesn't sound too bad. I think, actually, now that I'm married, you well, yeah, I'll, your I'll wife would want the you ship shipped one. I'd want to know who she is, who she'd pick. You just have to ask her. Um, and what if please, she's hun, like, hun, leave it in the comments. Is she watching? I hope she's watching. Probably not. We had a talk today. Um, uh, so let's say the problem is, though, right? Say it's not like a one day supply of potion. What if you have like unlimited supply of this potion that makes you attractive? What if they prefer that? They're like, hey, I'd rather fuck uh, Danny DeVito every night or whoever she picks. I have to, who knows? If that woman picks Danny DeVito over you, you she should not be with you. Well, in that case, I need a divorce. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Any oh. fantasy, you could be like, like I, I like what you said, thank you. You could be any TV show or any you know movie or anything. You could be Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Well, it's anyone that they fantasize about, right? So, Correct. technically, you're, you're shape-shifting into whatever they're wanting that night, but you would technically I... still feel like yourself. You know what would be funny, though? As if mathematically like look, looking at you and you're like, you get to turn, I get to turn into your fantasy. And she, you just have to close your eyes and think about it. She closes your, her eyes and then you poof, you turn into a woman. <laughs> like, like any woman, I would be like, okay, that make, there we go. I mean, if I'm in control of my woman body. Yes. Be interesting. No, no sex would happen that night. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to experiment. <laughs> So this is what it feels like. How many cucumbers can I get? Uh, What do you mean? All that's going to happen is you can't find the clit and you don't get off. Um... (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Would you you rather make out with a werewolf during a full moon or a vampire at sunrise? Mm. Well, that's a lose-lose. Because, like, if you're making out with a vampire at sunrise, they die. You make out with a werewolf at full moon, you're dying. So vampire yeah vampire vampire but then you're yeah, just getting then... a mouthful of ash uh... it's like man scooby snacks uh, oh lauren's in the chat seth rogan oh well actually that's fair that's fair i that's want you to fair. know honey i want you to know look at me in the eyes i will do nothing but laugh with the seth rogan laugh <laughs> The entire time. That's, that's horrible. Horrible. Like me, high pitched and just fucking 
sounds like you're stoned the whole time. She's like, yes. Oh, no. That's the only way I'll come. Oh, jeez. And just like that, I'm disappointed in you, Lauren. <laughs> um, <laughs> Would you rather discover your new lover is a succubus after a passionate, passionate night or that they're a ghost right when things get in, intimate? Isn't that just like normal dating now as a single man? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah. Getting ghosted or finding a sex addict is basically what <laughs> yeah, I just said. Yeah. It's uh. basically just being single in 2023, bub. It's like, oh, that went really nice. We should do that again. No answer. Or you do it, and then they're like, oh my god, I love you. Can I come over? What are you doing? Mm -mm, there's, there's no, there's no winning. Gade's in the chat. I definitely know he stripped. Uh, he went to a different stream and came back. Why do you think, uh, or why do you have a mouthful of ash? Uh, something about Auschwitz. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh hmm. no, it's the the vampire question he missed it probably oh yeah. lauren's like no i think he's so nice my other choice would be florence pew my who's first florence choice would pew? be florence pew who's florence pew it pew All put right, it put it second. on the put it on the the, uh, the, the 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 channel i don't know is that bad that i don't know who florence pew is don't like berate yes. me or like make fun of me but i don't know maybe i know who it is i just don't know their name like are they in a lot of things or yeah in? she's been in uh she? so think about oh, um yeah. yeah what do you mean she's in black widow absolutely oh god yes a hundred percent yeah i'd sell feet. both my nut for a one night stand with that woman i i hope you would pick that i'll be honest yeah no you're me too you're such Dude, a poser. No, no offense lauren but if he turned into her you're not getting any action he's getting all the action that I was going to say, bitch, you get down. Okay. Yeah, no shit. Come for air. Yeah. Oh, my God. Man, and if I could British turn into accent. a few. Which threw me off. I didn't know she had. She did a very good job in uh, Black Widow. Right. No, she's a very good actress. She could definitely be a spy. The side boob, boob action there. Good for her. Good for her. Anyways. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Good, good choice. And I didn't know her name, sure, and now sorry. I do. Good choice, honey. Florence. Yeah. What a name. Okay. Do you Florence. have another one? Florence. Do you have another one, good sir? Is that it? Uh, yes. I, yes. My, I don't know. I've, I've read a lot. I don't know. What, do, what, are we, what else are we talking about? Are we just doing a fuck, Mary kill? Or? I don't know. I guess we can do it on the, on the Halloween stuff. Um, oh, wait. I said yeah. one earlier to you when we were going over this. It was a uh, fuck, Mary kill. That's right. We were doing fuck, Mary kill next. Um, right. So you have you have the three sisters from Hocus Pocus. We all know so, which one we're picking. There's uh, Sandra Bullock, or not Sandra Bullock? Yeah. What's her? Yeah, no, Sandra it's Bullock. um, no, it's not Sandra Bullock. It's um, 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 she plays in Sex in the City oh, with a spoon. What? Or without her spoon? What is her name? With her spoon? No, that's not her either. That's um. Oh my God, what's her name? She's married to. I'm having such a brain fart. Uh, Mary Winifred and Sarah. I don't know. Well, you have Winifred, Mary, and Sarah. I knew that. Sarah Jessica I... Parker. Yes, Boom. the horse face. Yeah, that's yes. who I'm marrying instantaneously. I don't care what you're saying. That's right, the best so looking a, witch. I have pulled up, uh, pulled up on the stream. Let's see what you guys have for a uh, fuck Mary kill. Mary Sarah. Everyone. Everyone's on the same page. Kill Mary. Kill Mary. Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, we're, okay. ki we're killing Mary. We're not marrying Mary. Okay. All right. Uh, she Mary... might have a great personality, but no. <laughs> Mary, Winifred, and Sarah. Sarah, I think I'm going to marry. Winifred? Actually, I'll probably fuck Mary and kill Winifred. For real? Those teeth, man. You don't... Okay. Like, I, know, I know the entire night I've said I'm all about the teeth action. But <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't want it to like what is that? Oh god, no, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry Sarah. Highway. Fuck Winifred, kill Mary. I'm sorry. I, I don't want a two lane highway engraved onto the top of my dick. Okay, is what I'm saying. So mm. Winifred's dead. You're not a so, big fan of the redheads, huh? No, no. So you might be dead bastard. after your. Well, actually, never mind. I take that back. You're a pro with heavy lifting. Um. Remember Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh, we've talked well, about it many times. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, no. Sarah, Sarah's the goat. She wins. Yeah, Frida, you're a hundred percent on spot on point there. Yes to fangs, no to buck teeth. Yeah. It's sort of <laughs> like 
It's sort of like, think about Hitler's stash, right? If he was to do it on the outside, it'd be a different story. But he went straight in the middle. You know, it's it's kind of mad that that man single-handedly ruined at the time. Not now. I don't think a lot of people would rep it now. But at the time. Six million lives? Yes. But also such a fashion statement. I mean, that that Mm. mustache was big back then. You have to think you had Charlie Charlie Chaplin, who was like... Mm -hmm. The, the the everyone he was a taylor swift of his time everyone knew him everyone wanted to be him i know i, I just did that because of how relevant she is shut up the swifties are gonna be so pissed so pissed but either way that was like everyone wanted that look and he to ruined fair, that look i don't think any of the swifties know who charlie chaplin is so we'll be all right i don't think most people do they're not you know culturally inclined i don't know all right <sighs> so we got how do you feel about juice. that how do you feel about swift being on everything right now because of football and te- Travis Kelsey. I'm kind of down. I like it. I kind of fuck with it. Is that bad? One, football got a got a larger fan base. And two, Taylor Swift came out and said, look, I don't care who you vote for, but vote. Register. And 35,000 people registered to vote. And I was like, right. okay, good. You're using like your it. power for something I like. Right. I agree. I have, 100%. I'm, a, I'm definitely on the Swifty train. Like, I don't know her music. I don't know much about her. Right. Um, at all. Like, and personally, I don't even think she's that. I mean, she's pretty, but I wouldn't. She's like, oh my god, she's drop dead gorgeous. Like she's pretty, but I don't know why people hype her on her looks either. Jim, did you chat. just did you just pull up Beetlejuice? Yeah. So Beetlejuice was the next one to pull up. We've got Beetlejuice, uh, Linda Dietz, and Adam Matland from Beetlejuice. Dude, Dad, so you've got Jim, Beetlejuice. Your there. comment. Your comment, Dad. Your your comment is yeah. Yeah, a little Sean will look like a grenade thrown in a deli case for the teeth fetish. All right, you got Lydia Dietz, right? Oh, okay. So Lydia Dietz, Beetlejuice, and then Adam Maitland. Uh, let's Which one's see. Adam? Adam uh, Maitland? This guy. Yeah, that guy. This guy, I don't see a guy. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah, that, like... wait, that, that's Alec Baldwin. Holy shit, that is Alec Baldwin. Yeah, it's Alec Baldwin. Whatever, right, so, I pick Alec Baldwin. Uh, oh, wait, well, no, it, is it? Mary Kill. Wait, is it Alec Baldwin? There's no way. That looks like Alec Baldwin. I don't care what anyone says right now. That's a... I'm looking this up. Hold on. Uh, I'm looking it up. I can't. Did Alec Baldwin play in Beetlejuice? No. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. I'll be damned. He looks good. I yeah, didn't realize does. how skinny Alec Baldwin looked in Beetlejuice. Damn. He's a good looking chat. Yeah, yeah okay. no. So wait, what does what the what does it say? Between the two or something? All right, so you got Beetlejuice. Let's actually change it up. Do Beetlejuice Barbara, his wife, in Beetlejuice, right? Yeah. So you have, oh, sorry, Adam, Barbara, and Beetlejuice. I'm not gonna do the oh. daughter. The daughter just well, got weird. Oh yeah, that's very weird. Um obviously Mary the wife. I'm probably going to be fucking Alec Baldwin and I'm killing Beetlejuice. So like that's if we're doing Alec Baldwin then, absolutely. Now, probably Beetlejuice. Um <laughs> So, there's there's a reason here. There's a reason. Here's the reason. Here what's the reason? I would probably fuck Adam because of that. Right there. I'm waiting for your stream to pop up when he changes into the big. Oh nerd god, guy. no! No, yep. fuck off! Fucking that. Okay, but then so again, does it does it have to be that, or does it in like Beetlejuice and then his wife and her fucking weird looking teeth, eyeballs coming out thing too? Wait, well, what if that's for, the option? That makes it so much more difficult. Yeah, no, it would definitely be when she changes into oh, that. No. Think yeah, about that. Think about that, though. That's a. I mean, actually, I say fuck talk about deep throat. Um, I'd say fuck Barbara, kill Beetlejuice, and marry Adam. That's me. Yeah, that, I'm sticking to that one. With all of them looking like the way they are. Uh yeah, oh, yeah. God. Let's let's fucking throw a ball at the wall and call it yes. At least Beetlejuice would be spontaneous and shit. I'd probably marry Beetlejuice, and he can get smaller. Exactly. Which means then, he could literally like climb it like Mount Everest. Be interesting. He could kick your balls, you know. Mm. Oh, speaking um, of which, have you seen a Gen V yet? No, I have not. I have not seen it. Don't oh. ruin it for me yet. Don't even do it. I've. I, oh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna ruin any shows because I just watched Ahsoka. I loved it. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Here's here's my final answer. I'm All going right. to marry. What's her name? Barbara. Barbara. I'm gonna marry Barbara. I'm gonna fuck Beetlejuice, and then I'm gonna kill um, oh, Alec really? Baldwin. Okay. Even Fair because enough. they're in that stage. If they were in, like their normal forms, all oh, switching that all day long. But that's okay, a hard one. Enough. That's a hard one. Oh God, that's a hard. Okay, ready? How about this one? Oh, it's like the one I told you earlier. Like the main three: Fuck Mary Kill, Freddy Cougar, mm. Michael Myers. Is it Michael Myers? Michael. What is, what is the dude from Halloween? Michael. Michael. Yeah. Michael um, Myers. And Jason. Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael. The three main Halloween evil people murderers. I'd probably they fuck are Michael. all men, but who cares? One more time. Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Michael Myers. And Jason. Marry Michael Myers, fuck Jason, kill Freddy Krueger. That's literally what I was going to do. Like 100%. Yeah. Because, I mean, J- Freddy Cougar, like, you're not even getting a fun hand job. He's got fucking metal hands. No, that's he'll just, fair. He'll just cut you up like a Venus sausage. Like, All right. So, let's go ahead. Oh, we got some in the chat. Fuck Michael Myers. Marry Freddy Krueger. Kill Jason. Yeah. Jason really? just... I can get that. That's respectable. I can get that. That's respectable. All right. Are you familiar with the movie Scream? Absolutely. Okay, so you have Ghostface, right? Yes, yes. Got Ghostface here. Then you have Sidney Prescott. Absolutely. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Gail. Mm. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, All right. First of all, marry Sidney. So you're marrying Sidney. I can see that. That's a good choice. Good choice. Marrying Sidney. I mean, we're killing, I'm killing Ghostface. What do you mean? That's like an obvious. They're two beautiful women. You can't actually ever see who's playing Ghostface, can you? What if it was just like a baddie playing Ghostface, though? Didn't even uh, notice. It takes it takes off her fucking mask, and boom, it's Ariana Grande. I don't know. <laughs> like, you don't know who it is. Yeah, no, Ghostface dies. Ghostface dies. But that is a wicked tongue, though. That's a nine-inch tongue, and I bet he can breathe through his ears. No way, Scoob was Ghostface. No way, the dude that played Scooby or uh, Shaggy. Yeah. Oh, not I, Scooby. I, yeah, I, Shaggy. Shaggy, I love him. Like Scoob. Let's get out of here. Huh. Oh, that's a know. good one. What about Scooby Doo? That's Halloween and scary oriented. Yeah, I definitely don't, don't, don't throw Scooby. No, 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 don't throw the bestiality in this. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was no, gonna no, be no. like Velma, Daphne, and Shaggy. Velma, da- Daphne, and Shaggy. All right, back to Scream real quick. I'm definitely marrying Gail Weathers. Okay. Sydney Prescott, I'm fucking, and go say some killing. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, but okay, so you said Shaggy, Velma, and who? And Daphne. We're, yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty Ooh. obvious, but yeah. Velma, I'm going to marry. But it, it comes. Oh, you're going to marry Velma. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because she, I won't have to work. I know she's going to be. I, I could be like. Yeah. A stay at home. She's, she's thicker. Smart. She thickered in a snicker compared to, to Daphne. But I, I like, like the tall legs on Daphne. So I'm going to probably go Daphne for the, the Mary. Yeah. And, D- Daphne, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to. Velma's fuck. the. Da- yeah. Velma, and I'm going to fuck. I got to kill. I know Shaggy's the Shaggy? best one. I feel like I actually I'm a sweat. Mm. Yeah, that's rough, dude. I might marry Shaggy. You don't have to fuck him. You could just like get stoned with him every day and be a great dude to talk to and have all the food you'd ever want. So like, I'd probably marry uh, Shaggy. Oh, he makes fuck sandwiches. Daphne and kill Velma. Oh, you're killing my wife. I see how it is. Wait, your wife is Velma. Not in real life, but like in my hypothetical, yeah, actually, fuck Mary Kill. She should actually, you know what? You you should je- dress up as Fred, and she should dress up as Daphne, or I mean Velma, because Velma always loved Fred, and you look oh, like yeah? Fred, and she's small. And Velma had a thick ass. There you go. That and you know what? Who could Delaney be? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Did you Scooby-Doo? watch the uh, the new Scoob movie? 
There's a new one. Yeah, it's on Hulu. I think it came out this year. It's like an animated. Um, It'll movie. never. No, I mean, I like the original animations, but when it comes to the movie, pretty good, bro. I'm sorry. No, the what is it? Skull it, Island. It, That's it. Shows name. it shows. Um, it like it's really good. I would give it a shot if I was here. Okay. Watch the new Scoob because it does reference the old Scooby Doo that you and I watched. So, like, are these uh, new people? Good. They're not even. They're not actually Shaggy Scooby Velma. Like, so the old shaggy and scooby they brought back the original like first of back way in the day they brought back the old voices of it like they're 70 now uh gates in the chat still pull that off wow uh he'd fuck shaggy mary female shaggy is pretty hot female shaggy is pretty hot oh let's let's it was two guys in the first one we don't care that's the whole point of fuck, marry, kill. You don't get to choose. I mean, you do get to choose, but you have the three options in front of you. They're not always good options, man. Or f- woman. Um, <laughs> that's that's the ripped Shaggy. Oh, the ripped one? Yeah. No, I would totally. That's kind of the best of both worlds. You got Shaggy's <laughs> voice, but Let's the see, woman my... of a woman body. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah. I forgot all about it. Oh man! Like Scoob, so, I've got a pair of tits. You know, what would you do if you were a woman? Like instantly, like you're a woman. What's the first thing you're doing? Like instantaneously, I'd fucking explore. I'd grab my tits. Yeah, I'd be like, "Well, yeah. damn, it's not raining." Um, I'd flick them a little bit. See what I'd, I I I kind of explore to see what would happen. Like personally, my nipples aren't sensitive. You could put it in a vice grip, and I don't even feel it. So I'm like, and "Is confirmed. it really?" But it, it it's fun to play with an antenna, you know. Can confirm. I mean, <laughs> you know the door stops that go do 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 when you flick them. That's kind of the same mentality we have. We're simple creatures, okay, yeah. as guys. Um, and then I definitely see how many things I could fit up there. Yeah, just straight going straight, for it, huh? straight to destruction. Just uh, running running into the fucking refrigerator and looking for a cucumber, huh? I'd like to test the limits. Yeah. I'm gonna laugh, like, but th- what if it's like if you do become a woman though, and you're instantly a virgin, and you're like you go to do it, and it's like it hurts, so you have to go slowly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know you have that. a whole different perspective now, huh? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna waller it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, bub. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like th- the idea has always been something that guys have thought about, and I'm sure women have thought about thinking about becoming the opposite oh, yeah. sex and what you would do. Like my Maybe wife, like a baby I know elephant. She would say immediately, "Yep, baby elephant." Yeah, swinging that thing around there. They're like, "Damn, I can pee anywhere," and they'd go and try it. In a heartbeat, I would. In a heartbeat. Yeah, I mean, I do. I do pee and then, anywhere. But I here's want, the so. thing: like, if you were saying, like, I, I. I can imagine this. I know that sounds so weird, but if like you turn into yes. a woman and Lauren turn into a man, mm. you would start like doing that. She'd be like, really? And she'd start doing it. And then you would literally look at her. Then you'd go over and you just flick her in the nut. You'd be like, ha ha. Like I could see it. You just be, like, that's what pain is. <laughs> she'd probably, I know you. I know you probably, too well. She'd immediately escalate though and go for a cunt kick. Yeah, for real. I know, or she'd be like, "You fucker!" and just kick me right in the twat. <laughs> that's that's how or she punch she you does in the tit, it. like right in the tit, just a hard all, jab. All the tit. tit jab. Oh yeah. The death but I still, hurts, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. go out on a stretch and I'm gonna limb and I'm gonna get hate for this. A kick in the balls hurts worse than a, a a punch in the tit. I said what I said. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry at all. Actually, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it does. I've seen the abuse my wife have taken in her titties, and I'm like, mm, yeah. It I'm not saying hurts. it's not uncomfortable and it doesn't hurt, but a kick in the in the nuts. Probably you puke. You could. I I have puked from getting hit. I've been shot in the nut yeah. by a paintball, and I vomited without control. I've never seen a woman uh, take yeah. an elbow to the tit and puke. Yeah, no. I had to go check to make sure they're still there and they're bright and blue, and I had to go to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm, I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, like childbirth say, is worse than getting kicked in the in the nuts, 100. Oh, yeah. percent But yeah. like, yeah, that's no to hit the nuts. 
there's nothing else on a, body, a woman's body that is that equivalent to that pain other than going through childbirth because that exceeds it tenfold. I would agree. I, I, I would agree on that one. Like pre-pregnant tits are punching bags. Post-pregnant tits are you punch, you die is what I've learned. Like, and, and that's realistic standards. That's it. <laughs> Um, uh, bottle of cola 98 says, Paul, I'm going to fart a turd out into your toolbox. Is that the guy that always puts your dil- uh, like dildos in your toolbox? No, maybe, uh, it might be my buddy Brandon from work. Love you, buddy. Um, oh. don't poop in my toolbox. It's unlocked. Um, Oh, take his tools. Well, they, they're there for people to use. I know. I mean, I literally tell my guys like you can use whatever you want as long as it's put back. The moment I lose something or something is stolen, I'm locking my toolbox. Uh, he said, nope, it's the dildo guy. Cool. Fuck. I like it, you, it, it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Well, then there actually might be a turd in my toolbox. Actually, <laughs> if, it's, if it's Chris, there's a turd in my toolbox. It might be a oh. Snickers that's melted down, but it's there mm. now. I dare you. First to eat it time. Check. Anyways, I'm happy you're here, by the way. Uh, bottle Cola 98. Uh, Paul, where is your tool? Well, where is his tool? Uh, um, I have invited you over to come look for it. Uh, so here, I know people are going to be wondering, like, what the fuck? He let me borrow a tool to work on my sink. I brought it home, finished what I needed to do, set it aside. I was like, I'll take it to him. It has disappeared. I don't know where it went. It was there. It's not there now. So either my brother moved it, someone moved it. It's it's here. I know it's here. And I will find it. Worst case scenario, I'm taking you to Menards and I'm buying you a new one, though. What did you, what tool did you lose? It was just a pair of pliers, like vice pliers. Wife is asking me, can you go get me a soda? I am not safe to drive. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining Drunk Discussions Podcast. You can find us now every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash Drunk Uh, If you want to listen to us on Mondays, Monday morning at 6 a.m., we release our podcast. Uh, you can find us wherever podcasts can be found. With all that being said, peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>